Insters. Welcome back to my channel. This is Maisie. So kind of long time no video. I've been out of town a lot and I had a service project last week. So I'm back. But today I am going to be doing fall life hacks, DIYs, and a couple like food items too. So let's get on to the video. Let's go and a quick little disclaimer i am kind of working with the lighting today like i'm experimenting a little so if the lighting changed drastically between clips i'm very sorry okay for my first hack it is you know like when you're laying in bed and it's cold and you're just like so cozy and don't want to get out because you know you're going to be cold so this hack is kind of like to warm up your clothes almost to get you all pumped and ready to get out of bed. So I kind of, in the winter especially, I sleep with my clothes under my pillow so they can be warm when I wake up. But if you're either forgetful or you're like a super restless sleeper, this is the hack for you. So what you'll need is a heating pad and your clothes. I just have some socks because my feet are cold. So what you're gonna so start by heating your heating pad up to high. Mine's already heated up, and then you're just gonna take your clothes, and you, you can either wrap them in your heating pad like this, or my heating pad has heating pad has like a like fabric layer over it. So you can just tuck it into that fabric layer, and then wait like 10 minutes, and your socks are warm. Then five to 10 minutes later, you have some nice warm socks or clothes whatever you put in your heating pad that last hack also works really well if you hit the snooze button because then you can just before you hit snooze put your clothes in the heating pad so yeah so my next hack is if your cuticles get all peely and dry and as i like to call craggly um which is basically my term for crackly in the fall and winter just mainly dry months this is a great hack instead of going out and buying cuticle oil to moisturize your nails just take some chapstick this is a um is it yeah coconut caramel stripes lip smackers girl scout cookie one and i like it because it smells like fall and then you just roll it up this one has glitter on it probably cut from my face and you just roll it on your cuticles and then you can see my cuticle is kind of oily but you have a lovely moisturized cuticle and then you can just rub it in if you're like about to go out or you are out so that way you're not shiny so for this next hack is how to make some cool like fall decor almost so what you'll need is some paper some markers i like i would recommend doing fall colors i have yellow red and orange and then a crayon you can use any color but for me white looks the coolest Welcome to another segment of Editor's Note. So, <coughs> I'm editing this video, and I just realized I never showed the final product. So, here we have it. It's not showing up. Hold on. Get my little, little lampy. You can, can you see that? Yeah, you can. You can see the letters made out right there. But, it's not showing up on camera, but you can see it in real life. And just try this. It's stuff you have at home, and it's pretty cool. Okay, so my next hack is for if you have some cute boots. Sorry, that was awkward. But they're not the most comfortable in, like, the heel. This is a great hack. All you'll need is some cotton pads, some fabric. This is just like an old cardigan. And then a needle and thread. And remember to have adult supervision when handling sharp objects like your needle. Sorry, there's a motorcycle. 
but start by cutting your fabric about the size of your heel. I know this is a very crooked cutting, but mine was perfect. Sorry, pickups. Mine was perfect for like the sleeve. So once you have that, go ahead and thread a needle. I just use this baby pink string. You can use any or not string thread. I can't and blah, blah, blah. I cannot talk. And blah, blah. so go ahead and thread your needle. I use baby pink string. You can use any thread slash string, whatever you call it. And then so one side, like I said, the wrist on my cardigan was the perfect size for my heel so before you cut your string you're going to pull where it's going to kind of beam back on one end and then flip it inside out and then you are going to stuff it with cotton pads i'm just using three and then you're going to fold it over like this and then sorry a time is going off and then fold it over like this and sew. You're going to sew right in the middle right there. So after you have it sewed, you're just going to place it. The boots got stuck to each other again. You're just going to place it in the heel. Repeat for the other shoe. So that way, maybe your new cute boots aren't that comfortable or any shoe doesn't have to be boots but you can still wear them shopping or whatever walking at or running activity you do and they're interchangeable so if you like these and you have them in your boots you can just take them out and put them in your sneakers also bonus hack take your thing if your thing keeps sliding around in your feet just take your thing and place it under the heel of your sock so you have a elevated heel so that way it won't shift in your boot so for my fifth and final hack slash recipe slash diy i will be making kettle corn so what you'll need for this is a fourth of a cup of oil i just have coconut oil you can use vegetable vegetable oil or any oil you will need a third of a cup of sugar. I don't have my sugar out because it's under my counter and I don't have to grab it. And then you'll need half a cup of popcorn kernels and then salt to taste. So start on medium low heat by putting five kernels and all of your oil in a large spaghetti pan slash boiling pan slash cauldron slash whatever you call it. And make sure to have adult supervision while doing this and also make sure to put your hair up so that way one you don't have any incidences with a flame and two so people aren't eating and they're like this amazing hair <sighs> once those initial five kernels pop go ahead and add in your sugar and the rest of your kernels and after all your popcorn kernels have popped you are going to shake like this, shake your pan. I'll show you when it happens, but you are going to shake your pan every every 10 seconds. Sorry, one of my curls just popped. Every 10 seconds for three minutes. Make sure once you put your kernels and your sugar in, you turn it on high heat. And again, once they start popping every 10 seconds, for 10 seconds, wow, there's popping everywhere. Shake it like that for 10 seconds, although mine aren't all popped yet. You want to wait for like, the pop it everywhere, for like a third of them to pop. I've just been informed you're supposed to put a lid on them. And then once your popcorn has finished popping and you are finished with your 10 second intervals of, of like, to hold for 10 seconds, stop for 10, wait, shake for, blah, blah, shake for 10 seconds, and then stop for 10 seconds. You, after you do that for three minutes, you are going to use a spoon slash spatula, and you are going to take the lid off your popcorn, and it's kind of something different. And then you are going to line your countertop with parchment paper and you're going to pour it onto the parchment paper. And I just put on my Maisie apron. I forgot I had this thing. I've only worn it a couple times but I love it to death. So you are going to take some salt and you're just going to pour it in your hand first, recommended. 
and then I just probably have like a fourth of a teaspoon. I'm not even sure. I'm not even going to tilt it, but there we go. I don't want to risk it falling on the floor. So trust me, it has happened. And you're just going to shake it on there. Make sure you get all the little crevices out. And that is your popcorn. So thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell and comment down below. Hashtag notification squad to get a shout out on one of my videos. And go ahead and comment down below. I think I should do an American Girl stop motion. So let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Love y'all. Bye.